We just bought this abandoned storage unit for $220. Check it out. A weakness when it comes to safes and this one has a safe right inside let's start going through it we also figured out this guy lost his storage unit because he was locked up for selling illegal substances to an undercover cop step one let's start taking these clothes out and we're just gonna yeet them on to the side because we need this whole thing cleared out in the next hour or two so we're kind of in a little bit of a time crunch here. we don't want to look at the shirts right now all these used clothes we just donate anyway what's this vest though this feels kind of heavy is that just a jean jacket vest let this stay on the back uh, uh, I see something. Can you see it? Is that Harley or anything? The wall. Turns out it's actually a vintage Pink Floyd The Wall 1990 concert jacket worth around 150 bucks. So now that we got the clothes out of the way, or most of them out of the way. Ew. Ew. This thing that's nasty. Look at that toad. What is that? Duty? Uh, do we have gloves? <laughs> Maybe. Um, <laughs> some wires. What's in this guy here? I'm just gonna... Tearing it upside down. Uh, thumbtack. I, I don't really know what these are. Some random stuff in this bag here is just more random wiring. Inside tote number one is. Is that really all food? And razors? And, and what, what's this? Let's see what's in here. This looks really random. I've seen these bright colored bags. It got me a little excited. Look at this old belt buckle with a fish on it. Bass fishing from 1988. That's kind of cool. The rest of this is pens. We don't need pens. Let's set them aside. I thought this was all food, but it looks like there is some randomness in here. Is there anything in there? Let's check it out. Come on, blue box. Be cool. Uh, empty. Um, what are these? Is this a phone? Cricket? Nope, it's got a number on it. No, nothing in there. This is very, very random. It looks like it was gonna be food. But there's also lots of random stuff in there, but I'm not seeing anything of value. It looks like mostly just junk to me. Number one, not too good, but what about green tote number two right here? It looks really dirty, but uh, I see a lot of books. Uh, Dragon Tattoo Trilogy. That sounds like a cool show or anime or something. This is a study Bible, a lot of books, lots and lots of books, but it does look like it could be interesting down there. So I'm gonna take some of this stuff Set it to the side down here, and we're gonna go to the very bottom of the box. Look at all this stuff, it's so random, like a book, body powder. I don't know what that is, but we're about to find out. Let's see. Okay, exploding zip ties. Exploding zip ties. Um, this is just garbage too, yeah. This one's not looking too good. Besides some of the books, the rest of it unfortunately does look like garbage. Should I go to the next see-through tote or should we open this tube? Let's open the tube. Let's mix it up. What is, I mean, it looks like a poster tube, but that doesn't really help figure out what's in there. Let's see. It's definitely a poster, uh, but what kind? That's the question. It is the wall. Okay, I don't want to like undo it all, but if anyone knows or recognizes this poster, definitely let us know in the comments. This tote's kind of see-through, so we can see that there is a lot of towels in there, but that doesn't mean there's not something under them. Like this, what is this? This is, some people think you're distant, just some words on a page, that you're nothing more than fables handed down along the way. I guess it's some type of lyrics. Maybe a CD right here. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch of towels, what is that? Thera socks. And hey look, some tools. These might help us get into the safe in a little bit, so that's cool. But other than that, yeah, it's just towels and washcloths. Again, something we get to donate. I'm just realizing something. On top of the safe, this looks like another metal lockbox too. It definitely looks like one of those like old cash boxes we found before, so those are gonna be fun to get into. And for some reason, the safe has a sticky note that just says John. So this is John's safe. John, I hope you have something cool in your safe. Let's go into the next tote. This one's not see-through, so this one's a total mystery. And it is uh, more clothes, unfortunately. I'm seeing ties, clothes, bandanas. Uh, what is that? Blackout curtains, uh, just linen in general. Again, we're gonna donate it all. Next tote, ugh, this one right here. It looks actually broken. Why does it look like there's Pringles on everything? Someone just stayed in here eating Pringles. Come on, John. Get out of here, you stupid fly. Is this all food? Ew. Look at those moldy bagels. You see them? They're, oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go back on that. That's that's disgusting garbage. That tote grossed me out. You know what? Now I'm mixing it up. We're gonna go to the suitcase instead because the tote. Well, there goes stuff falling down. I guess the suitcase was supporting things, wasn't it? No way. Look at this. What? Is it, is it really locked? I oh, know it's not. It's just on there. I just saw the freaking lock and I was like, why'd they lock it? But it's not opening. <laughs> 
come on. Even it's it may not be locked, but it's acting as if as if it is. It's like moving like an into a car. <laughs> Just open. Ugh, you stupid box or bag. Okay, there we go. This is glasses and some medication this right here clothes this just a bag anything in there no it's completely empty more clothes more clothes and then for some reason with all oh what's in here that i'm seeing a lot of pins too you notice that a bunch of random pins what about this one is this all batteries and then some batteries and then for some reason just like a couple cds and dvds uh this is probably going to be more cds but just to be sure yeah, nothing else in there. What about in the side over here? A charger, some key, hey. Maybe this goes to the safe. Maybe. A key and a charger, nothing else too great in there. All right, so let's see if this key fits in the safe. Uh, no, let's turn it around. No, it says sentry on it. This says guard security, but it's a good chance it could also go to the metal box right there too, so I'm not gonna lose those keys. I'm gonna put it in my pocket for now. My turn, got some really tight, small gloves. At least they fit somebody. Yep. Oh, that's right. Pretty heavy. There we go. Come on. Right. Something cool. Something, Something cool. Something cool. Not food. Okay. Uh -huh. We have a. Okay. Random underneath here. All right. So that's what's in here. Watch it be cool stuff soon as you take over. Oh, it doesn't look like it so far. We have a foam box that I'm just going to rip. No. Is there a phone? Eh, is that a phone? Looks like it. Uh, looks like a phone in there. Right here. Screen cracked a little bit, but it's a phone. Cool. And we have this, which is random family pictures. This is like more so a personal box with some like really old ace bandages here. Yeah, those are dirty. Very dirty. Um, let's move this out the way. This. And then we have clothes, binder. Hey, oh, magic no cards. No way. Man, magic those cards. are old. These are old. Holy crap. So we have 1995, 95, no. 95. How does this always happen? I'm just gonna make you do it every year and <laughs> I'm just gonna film from now on. So check Man. these out. So most of them are like single layer, but we have some double layers, as you can see right there. Man. But it's still like a, I mean, a decent amount. Yeah, they're what? all old. You don't see a Black Lotus, do you? Um, Not yet, no, but do we know what year the Black Lotus came from? I mean, I'm pretty sure like the original. I don't know. That's I don't just play. like a bigger one. I can't even like get it out. That's magic book. Crazy. All right. As soon as you start. Yep. <laughs> I'm a good luck charm. No kidding. No kidding. <laughs> uh, first aid box. Is it actual first aid? Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's find another binder. Come on. With on. magic cards in it. This looks like a lot of family pictures down here. Yeah, family pictures, sure. yearbooks, um, some frames down on that side. Let's see if I can get on this side. Definitely gonna have to check those though. Yeah. Because um, they could have cards in them. We'll check. This is like more family stuff. Let's check this one, see if it's a family album. Yes, yeah. it is. Interesting turn of events. So I used this sheet to look up this guy's name. He's had four charges this year, like alcohol related charges, and then two are selling something to an undercover officer. So definitely interesting turn of events. Definitely an interesting guy. So next tote here. Broken top, but that's okay. What's in there? What is in here? What is that? What's this? A painting. Oh. Whoa. This, oh, oh I thought that was another thing of him. Hold on, let me move. That's a personal picture. This thing, and come on. Like, why is it stuck? Hey. Is there ones in here? Yeah. Whoa. There we go. There's more magic cards. What year are these? 93 to 98. No way. 93 to 2004. So this is was cool. Is that actually supposed to be like that? Oh, I guess frazzled editor. Yeah, I guess so. Oh. And these, I, I feel like I've never. Why do I feel like it's never been like a gray? Board? Those are the gray ones. Oh, I have no idea. I'm about to guess. Maybe they're older. <laughs> Maybe. Man, Let's that's a good start. Put these back in here. Let's pull some of these out. What is this? Gray border, 93, 2004, 93, 2004. Same year. All right. Same year. All right. Still nice though. Yeah, very. Definitely nice. gotta check these out somewhere. Let's uh, pull this last one out and see if it's about the same dates. Yeah, 93 to 98, 93 to 98. Yeah. Wow, that's a good start there. That is a very good start. Woo, magic cards. What else is in this thing now? All right, so we have some paper. Some clothes, a little dusty on the edges here. Um, and it, oh, I know good. people talk about like old shirts and stuff all the time with like, you know, concert t-shirts and yeah. sports shirts and stuff, but I have no idea how to tell, you know? 
Yeah. All right, what's this two hat? This South is, Paul. oh, Southpaw. Is that the movie? <laughs> I don't know. Whoa, what is this? That it's like cool. really heavy. Come on, that, that's kind of cool. What is this? I don't know what kind of rock it is, but it looks cool. It's very light. And then this one just feels like a normal rock. It's really smooth, that's cool. Yeah, whoa, cool. All I right. wonder what the, the box though. Like yeah, the box know. feels really heavy. Put that All up right. there. Then we have some personal paper, the rosary of philosophers. Ugh. And then we have, I know you can't see down here, but it's just jeans, t-shirts again. I saw some magic stuff in here though. Like what are these? Are, just, are these? Yeah, what are they? Um, just old. Just like magazine. They pulled it out because it was uh, talking about magic probably. Okay. Pause the video. This video is sponsored by MGM Slots Live, the official MGM casino game. MGM Slots Live is a free to play Las Vegas experience that you can play directly from your phone. MGM Slots Live features loyalty points that you gain as you play. You can then redeem those points for real life rewards in all MGM resorts and other partners. Click the links down in the description or scan the QR code right here on the screen while I'll tell you more about this game. We're going to Emerald City because who doesn't absolutely love the Wizard of Oz? This feels like I'm literally sitting in a casino right now. Hey, I got a wild in the middle. Okay, let's do it again. They are, hey, 117,000. That's what the nice. that. Spin again, come on. Come on, baby. Look at all the scarecrows, whoa. Holy crap, that's over a million, 1.7 million chips. This is why slots are so much fun. Man, I swear I'm on a slot machine right now. Was that Glenda the Witch? Magic spins, what is this? Free spin, six out of six, is that all of them? I just won, oh my gosh, look at this. 8.9 million chips. Woo! Download MGM Slots Live, available in the iOS, App Store, and Google Play. Using the link in the description or scan the QR code on screen and get 10 million free chips if you're a new player. Go get it. You went through like three totes and found all the good stuff. Now it's going back to me. If this tote right here is garbage, then you know what? I know for a fact I'm cursed and you're not. So let's see. Really? You get Magic the Gathering cards from the 90s? and I get old dirty tools that I don't even really want to come in contact with my hand because they might poison me. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, this one's not good. It might throw it out at the yard sale because there might be something in there, but not much. Let's go into this one. Maybe you can get lucky in this tote. It definitely has a lot of weight to it. Let's see what's inside this guy. Oh, I would get all the CDs. You get the cool cards and I get the CDs. You know, the problem is they're not even like in the cases. Look at this. There's loose CDs everywhere. I bet you some of these are in there. Some of these are not. Like that's in there. Oh, case is broken though. That looks like an older version of Logan Paul. That? <laughs> Imagine him in 20 years. There you go. Oh, okay, I may, I may be wrong. These do look, appear to be in there for the most part. And there's a lot of CDs in here. There's a CD case, some VHSs, some DVDs. So this might be a auction or a drop off second to Charles type box. Don't know right now. I have to get lucky in at least one, right? This is the last cut over here. If this one's garbage, then literally just a few in the middle you decided to pick were the magic cards and I get all the crap ones? Yeah, I know when to start and stop. All right, well, let's see. Oh, what the heck is this, popsicle sticks? Yep. Popsicle sticks galore. Okay, crafters. Mikey Box. Crafters. Ooh, that looks interesting too. What's in here? Medicine, I'm gonna set this over here and dump it out once I've gone through everything else in the box. Let's see, is this a laptop? No. no. A mega remote, you're not losing this. You're not losing that. Come on, Nike. Oh, that's heavy. Cards, 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 cards. I oh! It is magic cards. Hey, guess who got lucky too? You're not the only lucky one. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, chill out, chill hey, out. Hey, this is from, well, I don't even know. Legendary Land, look how old that looks. Why does it look like pixelated? I don't know. I don't know either. Let's just like pull some of these out and see. Ugh. Cause these are all sleeved, so that's usually a good sign. Sometimes, sometimes it just means they like those cards. Uh, where do we go? Here we, there's one right here. This is from 2019, so these are newer. I got the newer ones. <laughs> what about these right here? I'm gonna open up the deck and look. Look, they're all sleeved though. All of them, literally. The entire deck sleeved, and this one's from 2018. Is there rare people that play Magic and collect them? Are there rare cards in the newer ones, or is it just the old ones we should be looking for? Because I never played this before. That looks old though, doesn't it? Let's yeah. see. That's the same box that I found. This is? Yeah. Let's see, these are from, um, why are they so pixelated looking? Look at this. I don't know. Like, I can barely read them. Look how pixelated they are. Like, I feel like if you're watching this video, it might look like it through the camera, but no, they're actually like pixelated. This is crazy. The heck, Dan Frazier? His last name's spelled the exact same way as mine. That's kind of creepy. All right, we're just gonna put this one back in here. It's weird. It is weird. I don't know how to feel about these right now. I can't even get them back Could in the box. Could they possibly printed them themselves? I don't know. I don't want to think that. <laughs> I don't want to think that either. Uh, so look at this. These are all deck boxes. I mean, like, 
crazy amount. This one doesn't even have a date on it. These are like the really yeah, old, old ones. One. Yeah, let's see. Can we get a black lotus in here? Maybe that's what's in the safe. What if this safe's just chilling there and it's got the black <laughs> lotus in it? Hopefully. That's like the card that's worth thousands of dollars, by the way, if you don't know what it is. But I don't see it in here. We're definitely gonna take these somewhere. Like I'm gonna take these by like a card shop to somebody that actually knows what they're looking for. So they can tell me what they look or what to look for, which ones are the most rare, things like that. I'm gonna set it down here. So this box is all magic. Let's set that, I don't even know where, right here for now. This is a magic binder. That's what I hey. saw. What are these all, pictures over here? Let's look at this, is this all pictures? I don't know, screws. Let's open one more. Is it all tool stuff? Yeah, tool pieces, so we'll just leave those in there. Let's get out this binder down here though. Magic the Gathering. These are 2018, 2018, so again, they do look like they're the newer ones, unfortunately, but Again, I don't know if there's rarer ones in the newer ones, so definitely have a lot of cards we're gonna have to take somewhere to get looked at. So I forgot I said I was gonna dump this out. I just dumped it out. It's mostly pills and garbage, but there was another phone in there like this really busted up. And there's also these patches I wanted to put on camera just in case anyone recognizes them and they could be rare. I don't know what they are. They're like Boy Scout or they're magic or what they are, but just in case, I had to show you guys. Let me know if you know what they are. So as you can see, all the junk on the floor, we got most of the crap out, the food, the clothes, stuff like that. They did leave us some nice tools though. Like, look. Oh, uh, you know what? I thought this was a sledgehammer. This is a golf club, isn't <laughs> it? a golf club. That's a golf club. And another golf club. But they also left us the giant, like, bolt cutter things. But unfortunately, right. this safe doesn't have a padlock. So it's not going to help us with this particular one. But it could help us in the future. We got this giant frame with, look at this beautiful picture. Nothing. Of nothing. It's so gorgeous. Now, I guess, we should start bringing this stuff down, you think? I guess. I think I can get to this tote. Hopefully, it's not heavy. No, it's not. Okay. Let's see. What's in this tote right here? Uh, nothing. A tarp. And really, that's it? What is this? It looks like a jacket, doesn't it? Yeah. So a jacket, a tote, a tarp, and like that. A light. So I went to pull this box to start getting it down, and I quickly realized, well, it's empty. that box is empty, so let's just throw that over there. I guess I can take this guy down now. Oh, by the way, look at the nice metal shelf, too. Yeah. Actually, should be able to use that. This, well, a bunch of shoes. Some Levi's, some dress shoes, some regular tennis shoes, and what are these? Those look like Converse logo, doesn't it? Yeah. But they look like regular shoes. I didn't know they made regular shoes if they do, but we'll look them all up. If they're over 20, 30 bucks, we'll probably sell them. If not, we'll just donate them to people in need. Check out my boom box. Does it look good? You think I could walk down the street, put this on my shoulder, and just yep. start break dancing on the corner? Yeah. Am I the only one that thinks that for some reason? Every time I see one of these that have the speakers on the side and the thing in the middle, I think it's some guy just dancing on a corner. I don't know why. Maybe it's movies. The last one of these that sold in working condition sold for $270. And even non working, they're going for about 100 bucks. I saw this frame and I saw this thing on the back of it. It's like pointing out all these different bands, The Who, The Clash, and all that. And I flipped it over. It's like literally looks like from the era pictures of seeing all these bands live. It's pretty cool. Definitely nostalgic for people to listen to it. But I don't really know if, if pictures would have value because they're like of age. So if anyone is in that field, definitely let us know in the comments. So I grabbed this giant heavy red thing and I noticed it was NASCAR sticker on. I don't know if they put that sticker on there, if that's the actual brand or not, but let's open it up. Let's see, definitely tools of some sort. Oh yeah, big old socket wrench set. Some little mini one, handheld ones. This a, what is that? I thought to say a level, but no yeah, I have no idea what that is. <laughs> and then yeah, definitely a whole socket wrench set. But does NASCAR have their own brand of tools or is that just a sticker somebody stuck on there? That's what I'm not sure about right now. So we tried to go through these shelves and take all the food and paper and throw it in a trash bag and look how bare they look now. Literally, this is just minus food and paper. But I did find a few interesting things behind the paper. Like this laptop right here, the Acer Windows 7, little miniature guy with the charger actually. That's the rare part. It has a charger right with it that works. This is a lockbox. And as you can see, I tried zero, zero, zero and it didn't work. So we're gonna have to break this in a second. But look, little Zippo lighter too. So, you know, let's take this perfect little chisel guy here. Listen to this. It's definitely not empty. And see if we can figure out what's in the lockbox. These are usually really easy to break. Watch this one be difficult. Come on. It's proving me wrong, isn't it? Ugh, come on. These usually break in like a half a second. There it is. All right, you ready to see what's in the lockbox? Oops, should I open it the other way? Let's turn it this way. Let's see, what are these? Little books, are these Bibles or just, just paper? This one is just 
empty paper. This one, empty paper. Post-it cards, what's this? That's kind of strange. It's empty. What the heck? What? What was the point of that? A lockbox with this. Now I'm like so in the middle. Is this gonna, this and this, gonna have random junk or like rare magic cards? You know, they could really be either which way. You also have a bunch of hard plastic cases over here. When the pictures, I couldn't tell if they were, you know, pew pew type cases or tool cases. Now that we're in here, we can definitely see their tool cases. And the first one I move, I can definitely tell you is heavy. So if they're all in there, that's some serious money too. This is a firestorm, by the way, is what the box says. Let's see what's in there. Oh, oh, it's actually in there. It just has junk in there with it for some reason. So some paper and it's a Black & Decker Firestorm drill. That's a good start. Is that the, well, that was just the handle of the case. The case isn't in the best shape, but the drill looks to be nice. Let's pull out some of these cases here, see if we can get them all in there. Black & Decker, is it? Yep, little bit set. And this one just fell in the perfect place so it wouldn't close. Don't do that. It did it again. You know what? You stay there, you stay there. You wanna be like that? Be like that. Black & Decker again. Let's see what's in this guy. Again, same thing, kind of a bit set. Put that right here. The massive one's what's intriguing me. Look at the size of that guy. This one's a Dremel. Let's see, where does it open at? Where, did it just open? Oh, here you go. It was like the same color. It looked like it blended in. There is a little something something. I don't really know what it is, but it's something. I guarantee you that, it's not nothing. Now let's see what's in the massive skill crate right here. Open up and open up. Why won't this one open? Look. What is with these toolboxes? All right, let's see what's in this guy. Is it a big old drill or what? Is there another one? Why isn't it opening? I don't know. Pull. Uh, just pull it. Oh, there it goes. It just stuck. Oh, it's a giant saw, isn't it? Yeah. That's a big old skill saw. You see the sticker on this side. Hopefully, these tools definitely have some good value. All right, I want to pull this thing out so I can take this metal shelf down and use this as a table to open things up. First, I got to get this out. Oh, this is actually a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Let's see what's in this case right here. Better not be blank page books again. You ready? Yeah. It's a bunch of locks. You see this? Just a horde of locks and keys. Holy crap, you see how many keys are in here? Yeah. Whoa. Okay, there's a good chance that one of these gotta be Century and one of these gotta go to this safe. If it's not, if not, at least the lock box. So I guess we got some keys to try. I just tried every single key that size and we do not have the key for it. But I also realized there was a top part of this thing that has these two Magic the Gathering booklets in it. And it also had exactly what I said. It shouldn't have another book with blank pages. But these were definitely gonna put with the Magic cards because they could definitely be old and valuable. Now that we've taken the metal shell off of there, we have a nice little convenient table to open up these boxes and whatever else we need to open in the unit. This one's just computer, but we already found the computer. Computer, so I doubt that's what it is, but let's see if there's more tape going this way. This isn't going to UPS, my man. You don't have to do all this. You know how much harder you make this, John? Really, John? Really, John? There we go. All right, you ready? Yeah. Let's see what's in here. Oh, well, I see a mouse. I mean, keyboard. I don't know why I said mouse. Is it, oh, it's actually a desktop, isn't it? So we found the laptop. There's the monitor and the keyboard, and there is a Lenovo desktop. Let's set that down and open this up uh, or pull it out for a second. Doesn't have anything. Oh, there it is. Can you see any of the specs on it? It's upside down. It just for says me. machine type 90DA. Okay. Um, no other like specs or anything. So, oh. at least. A Windows sticker. <laughs> did you see that it say which version of Windows? No. It looks like a newer one. So, if it's at least Windows 8, even though it's their worst operating system, at least it means it's newer. We can rewrite it with um, Windows 10 on it. So this is gonna be something we have to go home, turn on, and look at the specs to really determine its value. Let's start working our way through the final thing over here. This right here, I see glue sticks and locks and pins and every other thing under the sun. How's it open? Oh, the sides. I knew that. I was just testing you, Pass. Good job. <laughs> so we got little belt buckle. Oh, look at that. The state of text. Everything's bigger in text. Some thread, some rubber bands, glue, pins. Nothing too crazy there. Set that one up here. Let's go into the next level down. Ooh, look, see that? We're gonna try to break that open in a second. This right here is, ooh, binder. I like binders when I find cards. Ooh, these are just page protectors with nothing actually in them, huh? All right, we'll set that aside for now. Uh, graph paper, graph paper. Uh, anything you can eat well, that's not what I was hoping for. And this does, unfortunately, hey, look at that. I see that too, let's get this out. I'll let you guys come out. We see the magic the gathering in here. These are, what year are these from? 
2012. So we've got like all kinds of different eras, like from the early 90s to all the way to 2019. There's just this one random deck in here though. So we'll definitely add these to the pile of all the other ones. Now let's get into the two reasons we bought the unit. Well, this is the real reason, but this is just a little added bonus. Ooh, it's definitely got weight to it. Listen. Ooh, it's definitely, definitely not empty. So let's see what tools he left us to work with. We got a hammer, we got the chisel we just used. And I think this one will work better. So let's just go the old fashioned route first. Stick it right in the lock. I love these kind of hammers too. You don't gotta break your fingers. Was that just the lock that easy? No, the bits are coming out. Oh, really? You think that did it? Let's, oh, it's in there, hold on. Did that do it? No, but it popped a look at this. You see the lock's coming off. I'm gonna put this here, then I'm gonna beat it some more. Use so that chisel thing too. Now let's see if that'll allow us to... Oh, it's definitely out, come on. Oh, oh you ready? It's open. Let's see what's in the box. Ooh, I Another like the look box. of that. I like the look of this. And, what does that say? Dwarf of Buffalo? I'm gonna look in here first. This is a Catholic elementary school diploma. Ah. So this will be something we leave I was behind. I like, what's the D word? I couldn't even read it. St. Mary's, same thing. This is a high school diploma. So that'll be something we leave behind. Let's see. What's in the wooden box though? That's the question. <laughs> really? Why? Why? Okay, nothing in the wooden box. What is this that's broken? Uh, I don't know what oh, that is. Oh yeah, it's part of that. You're exactly right. So nothing too interesting in there. That's because obviously the cash and the Black Lotus Magic card is sitting right inside of this entry safe. Look what I can get to now. Oh, there's definitely something in here. I don't know what it is. It feels like paper. It sounds like paper, which is kind of a good thing because both money and Magic Gathering cards are, are paper is what I was gonna say, but that decided to interrupt. So that's definitely gonna be interesting. What do you think's in this? I don't know, let's get it open. Let's see. This is, uh, well. Nothing. An empty container, really nice protective container for something. I don't know what they would put in there, but something in there. What else should I get into? Like, what's over here? What are these? Uh, rescue blanket. Man, there's a lot of binders there, so I'm kind of interested. It could be cards. But let's look over here first. We got a razor blade, and there's this blue tote here. I do want to open, for sure. Ugh, oh my gosh, why is it so heavy? Is there any label on it? I don't see anything, do you? No. All right, total mystery. Let's see what's in the blue tote. Oh! <laughs> no way. No way. Oh Look at these. Gosh. Have we found more than this before? I think this is the most we found. I don't know. Remember the one unit we bought in Virginia Beach had a bunch, I, but most of them were yeah. newer, so I don't know. Plus, that one cost us $600. This one cost us $220. <laughs> That's always a benefit. This box looks old. Let's see if they have a year on these guys. Oh, yeah, 2002. So these are early 2000s right here. Ugh, let me make sure it's the right way. OCD would kill me if I put it back in the other way. So look at some of these. Again, guys, if you're Magic fans and you recognize these as being older or rare, please let us know in the comments because I do not play this. These are all just sleeves here. These are all sleeves too. So this whole box here is sleeves. Maybe they are planning on putting those cards in these sleeves. This right here, these are cards. Check this out. What year is this one? This is from 2006. So still, it doesn't seem like that long ago, but then you think about it, that's 16 years. We're old, we're getting old. <laughs> 16 years ago, look at all these decks. These are all full right there. What about this blue box right here, Magic the Gathering? Let's see what's in this guy. Um, this is from the year 2019. This one's newer, unfortunately. But still, that's good. We'll definitely set it aside. This is crazy right here. I'm gonna guess this yellow one looks about the same era as the blue one. Let's see, it's from 2018, the year before, so pretty similar. They have a bunch, let me I'll pull out one of these ones in sleeves though. Cause they have some in sleeves, some in not. So maybe they know which ones are the rare ones and they've already put them in sleeves for us. We'll definitely, definitely see. Let's set these guys over here. Man, look at these big boxes like this. I want just a super old one. Whoa, what are these? I don't even know what this all means. I wish no. I did. I'm, you would think I would, because like, I love this like nerdy kind of stuff, but it's magic cards, which is nothing I never got into. This is from 2014. So I'm gonna open one of these boxes right here. This looks old, look at that. I don't know what this means, but they have a bunch of numbers on them. We're gonna open it up and see what they say on them. This one is from 1995. 1995. This whole deck is yet yeah, 95. Oh my gosh, this right here, 
could be where the money is at. I don't know what year the Black Lotus card is that everyone looks for or what are other ones that are super rare. I'm gonna say it again, guys, right now. If you're into magic, please go to the comments and tell us cards to look for other than the Black Lotus. We know that one, but I know there's gonna be more cards that are worth a ton of money. And look at these. I wonder if these represent, like, I'm gonna pull out one, one more. It says 82. Like, what does that mean? They didn't make them in the 80s, did they? I'm pretty sure they started in the 90s, but I could be wrong. This is 1996. This, this whole box right here might be old cards from the 90s. And if it is, that could be absolutely insane. Like a massive, massive jackpot. Considering the one card, the Black Lotus, in good condition, it could sell for like five figures. Easy. So this is going to be something we definitely look through in a lot of detail and take somewhere to get looked at. Let's put the top back on it and set it aside. This is crazy. Who would, you know what else I've weirdly noticed too? Can I just point this out? Buying storage units. How come every time it seems we find out that they are arrested for selling drugs, they have the nerdiest stuff. The last time we had it, they had all video games. One time they had all magic cards. Like, it's so weird. I don't know why. I think movies have ruined us. I think movies have ruined us. <laughs> like, you expect to open it up and find, like, baggies and tri um, triple beam scales, but no. It's just something they do on the side. Look at that, all the way full again. This is wild. This is absolutely wild. This could be a massive, I don't even wanna set it here because it's falling. I'm gonna set it up here. This is gonna be a massive money maker. Oh my gosh. Look at that. These are all from, they're from 2000, so they're not gonna be as old, but still freaking awesome. Let's set that right here. Live Aid, oh, look at all these. Magic Encyclopedia, look at all these magic books at the bottom. This is money, guys. This is money. Look, this is wild. I guarantee you, I don't know, I'm guessing now. This toe right here is probably multiple times over what we pay for the entire unit. That's my guess, and that's all we do. I'm just in shock right now. Like, would you ever have looked at that unit at the beginning and thought, oh, that guy has thousands of magic cards? Never, never, never. Let's see what's in this right here. Aww. I was hoping it wouldn't be actual files, but it does appear to be actual paperwork. I was hoping for just like pages and pages of Magic the Gathering cards, but you know, we'll take this too. Let's set it over here. Let's go into, see if there's anything in here first. Let's check it out. The uh, trash bag, but with what in it? That's the question. Ew, just use clothes. That's nasty. Let's go to this drawer down here. You see it? Yeah. Let's see if there's anything in there. Well, that looks like all the pieces to this shelf right here. And I also noticed is, go back in there. There's a black, black bag underneath everything. Yeah, that actually does look like bathroom and trash. So that's garbage. The last thing I want to go through is I want to pull through some of these binders and see if we can get lucky and have any of them be, you know, more cards. Because normally binders are like meh, but when you find cards, binders are like seeing gold. There's nothing in there. That's just a book. Let's see in here. This is all paperwork, so I have a feeling paperwork, paperwork. Well, this one's got pages, no paperwork. Yeah, these unfortunately do look like they're gonna be all actual paper, but of course, we'll look in more detail to make sure there's nothing hidden in there. So all we have left now is the safe. Now we are home and I got us the hammer and I got us the century safe. What's your guess? I'm saying magic cards. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the only but guess I have. Ask, um, sir, what's your guess? What's your guess? Okay, that, that, he said money. <laughs> he definitely said money. By the way, you like what we did with our truck? See how we put a little shell on it now? So now we can carry lots of stuff and nothing flies off and hits people on the highway. So it's a win-win all around. I bet you this takes one, two hits max. These yeah. entry safes are so secure. I say one if you're pinpoint accurate. All right, ready? Yep. Harder. All right, ready? Oh, what? what was that? I broke the handle off. Oh. Okay, ready? This is gonna get a real hit. There you go. Really? Really? Is that just a manual? You said paper. I did tell you I heard paper, but I was hoping it wouldn't be that. What is this? Yes. Well, unfortunately, isn't it crazy? We bought the unit for this safe and end up scoring huge because of this disgusting tote and this old box right here. That's just crazy.